A few years ago, I organized a bank robbery in Los Santos. We had an alibi and a pretty good plan. We managed to pull off the job without any troubles. Uh, it took us some time to fence the gold, but it was well worth it in the end. A good score. So here I was, a few years later, in Andrea City, about to rob another bank. By this time it was for the Koreans and the Calabrones. My jobs were crowd control and getaway driver. XP was with me, he was going to drill into the safe. We had this beast of a car that the Koreans had provided, which easily got us to the first rendezvous. I jumped in another car with the loot and was taken to a car park for another car swap, under protection of Tony and Gestapo. Now I just had to deliver the loot to the Koreans and Calabrones who were waiting for me. So the bank robbery was a big success, went just like it was planned. Calabrones and Koreans were really happy with me and my guys, XP, Tony and Gestapo, who all did their part well. Now it was time to take a break and enjoy a few days off. But then it was right back into business. Tony told me the lost MC had called him down for a chat, so I drove him and waited out the front for some news. I guess our hit on the meth lab recently must have had an impact, because when Tony got back, he told me they raised the roof on how much meth they would buy from us each week, to almost double. This meant that Tony could now bring two bags of meth to them per week, and that was great news as it meant we could increase our production and make more money. So it was a Tuesday, me and Tony had a busy night ahead of us. We had to beat up a drug dealer for the Calabrones, 
then check in on the Don's new corner, make sure everything was going smooth, etc. Then at dawn I had to pick up a handgun in the south side. Well, unfortunately I ran into a couple of guys who me and Tony had kicked out of a club in the west side not so long ago. I will fuck you the fuck up, you stupid piece of shit! I found out later this guy was called Tyler. He was an up-and-coming gangster with the ballers. And I didn't know it, but when we bounced him from the club, I'd made a pretty serious enemy in the south side. Meanwhile, Tony was nearby, waiting for me to return with the handgun. My nose was broken and I had a concussion. Luckily Tony found me and got me out of there before Tyler could spread the word. I needed to stretch my legs and let the heat die down a bit in Andrea City. It had been pretty full on recently and Aldo thought it best that I get out of town and let things die down a little. So I went with XP down across the border to San Rico. Aldo had come up here a few months ago with XP to check in on, on our business interests here, and XP had bought a modest house which could be used as a base or hideaway for McCanties who come out this way. So this is where XP and I stayed for a few weeks. It was not just a holiday though, we wanted to establish a meth cook operation in San Rico to boost our production, now that the Lost were looking to buy more product from us. We sourced the ingredients, spoke to smugglers, recruited some cooks, and set up the pipeline to Andrea City. The cost of setting up a cook here was so cheap that it was worth it even with the added risk of cross-border smuggling. Again, I am sorry for this. I had no idea. There was just one last bit of family business I had to take care of before I left San Rico. Damn it! This guy had borrowed money from a McCanty made man and had been on the lam in San Rico ever since, where he thought we could not get to him. Don Aldo introduced himself to the Koreans. He did not give a name, but he said that he had taken control of all four of Mark's old corners, and that he had come to speak to the Koreans out of respect and mutual interests. 